first of all, I need to say that I am by no means an expert. In fact, where I'm coming from is this evening I have realized that I've actually made a mistake with file security. So I want to run through that. Now, whether I'm going to then give advice that's um, exactly correct for setting up security, I'm not sure. So you might want to uh, check with your own IT support. But uh, I'm going to point out some things where I'm pretty confident that I've actually gone wrong and then show you what I'm doing to fix them. As I say, you do need to double check this is uh, actually correct. So anyway, so I've, um, I've got all these teams here. I'm, I've either been added to them or created them myself. And I've got this one here, which is a GCSE team, uh, electronics GCSE. So I'm just going to click on that one. And you'll see that there's the team name here. And there's a the general, it's a called a channel. OK, now for many of you, I think many of you in my school, you've probably only bothered to use the one channel. I've actually decided to create multiple channels. And to do that, I've just clicked Add Channel and just given a name. So I've, I've split the, the team up into various bits. And the reason why I've done that is because I, I found it useful, because then I could have the files for, say, general stuff, and then files for like component one of the course and files for component two. And then I could have like, yeah different conversations going on for different parts of the course. Right, OK, so hopefully that um, gives you a little bit of an idea as to the sort of structure I've used. But then I've probably, from the start, um, actually gone wrong. OK, and this is what I want to concentrate on showing you, because I don't want you to make the same mistake. So I'm in, I'm in the general channel, and as I say, you might have only one channel. But I click Files, and I always knew that there was this folder called Class Materials, but I pretty much ignored it. I just put the file that I wanted in this folder okay so like in the root folder i suppose we might call it now that's actually a mistake unless you actually change the security and the reason why it's a mistake is because students can change it uh, when i say change it they can they can delete the file they can uh, edit the file and uh, you probably don't want that so let's have a very quick look at class materials it's um it's fairly evident. I mean, when you look at it, it says read only class files go here. Students can read these files, but, but only the teachers can edit. OK, so you know, that seems to be the same thing. If you want to put files in there which you only want the students to read, great. Just go for that. And if that's your level, fine. OK, but let's just go back a moment and see why uh, I can check that the students actually have access to this because it's, it's not obvious. I mean, there's nothing where it says who has access to this and what they can do with it. You've got to click on this dot, dot, dot. Um, we then click open in SharePoint, which is open in the web browser here. And just if you haven't got this general panel open, let's just close that down. And I think we could get that again by going on to details. Yeah, OK. And you'll see that the, this file is, is the same thing. OK, you'll see that there's this has access. And if you click manage access, you'll see that all members of the team, that means including all students, have right have have um, edit access, okay? Which you definitely don't want. All right. And what I found was, and it was a nice student, I don't know what they've done, but that they had edited a file. In fact, I don't think they've actually made any changes, maybe just type space or something. I, I don't know, but this is the thing that alerted me today, okay? So let's say if you've, for whatever reason, you've placed a file there and you want to leave it there, I would say, and you don't want students to change it, which presumably you don't, then I would say just change it to cam view. OK, that's to me seems like the most sensible thing. OK, so hopefully now that that is only only viewable. Now, the other thing which I then started to wonder, I thought, well, hang on. Uh, what happens if I were, say, to uh, to move the file into class materials? Would it then inherit the permissions, the read-only uh, permission of uh, class materials? <clears throat> uh, so let's just let's just go back again. Let's go into uh, open it in SharePoint, and let's just change the access so that all the students can edit this. And what I'm going to then do is I'm going to move this file into class materials. So to do that, I think, yep, I click uh, move. And then I say I want to move it into class materials. And so then it's in class materials. Now, bearing in mind class materials said was read only, 
uh, I would have thought then that would be read only. However, let's just close that for a moment. However, uh, if we then go into Open SharePoint and then we need to find those details somewhere, don't we? Oh, in fact, this popped up there now. OK, so you'll see that even though I've moved it into the folder, which by default seemed to suggest that it was going to be read only to the students, uh, that file seems to have retained its uh, original rights. OK. That may, I, I used to be a network manager, it may be due to the fact that the file uh, isn't actually moved. It's like a file pointer that's in this class materials folder. It's just pointing back to where that file previously was like located. So the file's not actually like physically being moved on disk. Or something. Anyway, I, I don't know the reason, but for what, whatever reason, that file, by moving it into class materials, hasn't, hasn't taken on the more restrictive rights that were in class materials. So if that's an issue to you, uh, which I think it should be, uh, then what you need to do is you need to knock off the uh, edit permission and change it to can view. OK. Um, it would be interesting, wouldn't it, if, say, I create a new file in here, let's say a new Word document. Let's just ignore uh, this test document. And just a test. And let's just close this. So now we've got this ignore this test document. And let, let's have a look at, say, uh, open that one in SharePoint. Well, open that folder in SharePoint, I suppose. And then uh, if you, yeah, there it is, manage access. And then you'll see that because we created this file within the folder, it has uh, only view access to students. So really, the, the main thing is probably one word of advice for teachers. If you haven't yet started putting files uh, into um, uh, in, into Teams, is probably just to just to put them in that class materials folder and then you sort it. OK, no problems. Uh, let's just get rid of that one. Now, um, the problem for me, problem for me now is that um, I've got these different channels, and I think having the, the channels is actually quite a good idea. But um, yeah, so we've got these different channels. The problem is that each one of these channels has a files tab, and the files tab doesn't have a folder called class materials. Now, as you can see, I've already created a folder here called component one ebook. Um, that was one that I just created. Let's just have a quick look at this. So let's open that one in SharePoint. And you'll see, if you have a look at Manage Access, you'll see that I've actually set that up because I, I previously did this this evening. I've set that up so, so the class members only have uh, view access, which is what I want because, you know, when you go in there, I don't want them modifying the files for a laugh. Uh, let's just go into Component 2. And let's go into files there and you'll see that I have not yet set up that folder. So I'm living dangerously at the moment. And so um, and I thought probably what I'd be able to do would be to say change the permissions on this folder. But when I when I looked, I, I couldn't find that. Um, maybe maybe I'm going to find it now, actually. Oh, actually, I found it. OK, so here uh, manage access. And you'll see that uh, 10 AEL1 members all have um, edit access to those files, which I most definitely don't want. OK, so I'm just going to say can view. Interesting, I couldn't see that option before. So uh, anyway, that's um, they can now only can view those. That actually means now when I go into component one, go back to files, I don't think I'm going to bother with this component one ebook. I'm probably going to just uh, select the lot. Let's move them uh, up one level into component one i think it was yep component one there and then get rid of that unnecessary folder i don't want that folder there. i mean you might want like that level of folder but i don't okay just to be absolutely on the safe side let's just get rid of these those tabs keep on opening just to be on on the absolute safe side uh let's uh, open in sharepoint again this is component one files open in SharePoint. 
and let's just have a look and oh look yeah 10 AE01 interesting isn't it now uh, that is actually <laughs> um, giving them uh, right access to those files again dodgy isn't it yeah it's very dodgy so let's just change that let's just change that to cam view so it was in that case actually worthwhile so i'm gonna obviously i'm gonna have to play around with this i think you're gonna have to play around with it as well just to make sure that you are setting the appropriate permissions of course it seems like uh, that if you um, have not yet started um, uploading any files and when you do up upload files you only put them in class materials then you're less likely to accidentally give permissions to the students to edit those files okay now i've got quite a big job on because uh, i've set up my files and channels for 10a 10f 10, yeah loads of them okay so um, hopefully you're not going to make the same mistake as me and hopefully you will learn from my mistakes and uh yeah um hopefully you've found it useful if you do find the videos useful by the way this is a little bit of a plug could you please give it a thumbs up on youtube if you're signed in um, I don't really ask anyone to subscribe. You, you can if you want, but there's, there's probably like lots of stuff you're not really interested in. But um, thumbs up would be good. Okay, thanks very much. Then goodbye.